and a very good afternoon to all welcome to today's workshop on basic adobe illustrator organized by ipoli buvt student branch ipoli commerce islamabad ipoli young profession kenya and ipoli jansan institute of technology student branch ladies and gentlemen I am Nazim Narakhi, student of the Department of CSC, BUBT, and Joint General Secretary of IEEE BUBT, Women in Engineering Student Branch, Affinity Group. Expand your creative skills with this incredible set of illustrator tutorials that cover a wide range of subjects, from simple icons to patterns and detailed illustrations. We rounded up some of the best tutorials here to help get your creativity following and to polish up your skills. to encourage new learners to involve with some extracurricular activity in this workshop participants can know about the basics of adobe illustrator in today's ceremony i am welcoming the honorable creative designer of the archipoli student branch mohammad al araf and introducing him with all of us introduction of speaker mohammad al araf archipoli department from buvt He is working with IEEE BUBT student branch as a creative designer. He is also working as joint general secretary at IEEE PACE BUBT SB. He has been personally working in the graphics design sector for 3 years now. Today we have some of our respected teachers with us here. I am welcoming Dr. Mohammad Anam Hussain sir and requesting him to say something about today's event. Okay, thank you. Actually, uh, okay. Uh, actually, thank you uh, for giving me uh, opportunity to, to say something. Actually, I am delighted to know regarding the activity of uh, IT police student branch of uh, UBT. And I think you will continue uh, this type of activity for developing the soft skill uh, soft skill uh, actually if you uh, arrange this type of program i think gradually you can develop your soft skill which will fulfill the 12 attributes of our graduate which we have defined in uh, in our tripoli department course curriculum so i hope you will continue this type of activity and uh, and fulfill your 12 attributes Please help you to pursue your uh, uh, dream. So thank you, and please continue. Thank you, Dr. Mahmud Anar Hussain sir, for your valuable speech. We also have. Hasibul Alam sir, now I am requesting sir to say something about today's event. Thank you for giving me the space to say something. Mm, graphics designing is very important and a very a very important skill for our day-to-day uh, -day life. It is. Uh, you know graphics uh, without graphics designing we cannot uh, we uh, as we are using social media graphics designing poster designing and different type of image manipulation is very very important and uh, we are uh, very happy that we have uh, some valuable uh, member who can uh, show us some workshop and manipulation in image using adobe illustrator we hope that this workshop will be greatly benefited to our student and members please proceed thank you thank you hasib alam sir for your valuable speech now i'd like to welcome araf and requesting him to start his demonstration thank you Hello. Good afternoon everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Please let me know if you having any problem on sound and presenting issue.
No, Araf, everything is okay. I would like to request to turn off your microphones while I'm demonstrating. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section or in the message box. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very delighted to be here. I'm so happy to share today's workshop with all of you. I would like to start with my two supporting partners, Tanji Chokot and MD Moinul Islam. They will provide you necessary suggestions and and answers of your questions. We are gonna demonstrate the basic Adobe Illustrator. I will expect and hope that all participants have read the event description before joining today's workshop. This is completely a beginner level workshop on Illustrator. Do not expect advanced level of work today's event. If there is any mistake in my words, please forgive me. Okay. Now I'm moving to my Illustrator software. As you can see in your desktop or laptop, you have to install the software that we use in this Adobe Illustrator. I'm personally using Adobe Illustrator 2021, but you don't have to use the same thing that I use. Uh, A drive link will be provided in the comment section below. You can go to the link and download the Adobe Illustrator file 2021. Please check the comment section below. So after opening the Illustrator, you can see this kind of interface. Then you can see something like uh, creating a new file here. There are some default sizes or you can create a new Click, click on create new and you will get something, a new dialog box here. <clears throat> here you can see there are some size according to pixel, points, picas, inches, feet, etc. etc. You can just change the number here to adjust as like as you want, or you can just uh, take a default size from here also. Today I'm gonna use this web large and click on create. That will take us to a new workstation. As you can see, there are a new page and that shows some tools and some uh, options, and any, many things. First of all, I'm going to take a screenshot of first thing I want to show that is you can see that there are file edit, object type, select effect, view, window, help. This type of options here. And if I click on this file, there are many options here. And if I go edit, there are a lot of options. Same as object, type, select, effect, view, window. There are many options here. This is called the main ribbon, okay? This called is the main ribbon. I'm just typing here. Main ribbon, what I say. Okay. I would like to recommend to take a notepad and a pen for your own benefit. Okay. It will be a huge, huge benefit for you if you note down what I'm saying. The next thing I want to sh show you that this section and this section is called the action toolbar okay this is called the action toolbar here you can see uh, this action toolbar if you don't find this action toolbar suppose you don't have the here okay what you have to do is go to window and click on control okay after clicking on control that you will be get this section. That's it. Okay. Now you can see in the left corner that we have a toolbar. This is a toolbar that is the most used and useful section of whole Adobe Illustrator. 
this section is uh, mainly is for doing some doing all things from Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you can see there are some icons here. Uh, if I move the cursor to a specific icon, you can see the name of this icon appears. What you do just to do is just go to the specific icon and hold it for one second. You will just see the name of that icon. So first of all, there is a selection tool, as you can see. The second one is direct selection tool. The next one is pen tool. The uh, second one, next one is curvature tool. The next one is rectangle tool, uh, etc. There are a lot of I, I, uh, tools you can use. And you can grab it and place it wherever you want, okay? There is no offense, okay? You can place it anywhere we want. In the right side, you can see some properties panel, layer panel, appearance panel. It also be customized. You can customize it anywhere you want. If you don't see this panel, don't panic. You can adjust anything you can want from going to Windows. Here you can see some action bar. The next, it will, uh, you can see align, then artboard, then color, all you can select, but we don't need all of them. So what we do, just uh, taking the necessary, what we want, okay? So I'm placing the properties panel and placing right there before. Okay, that's it. So next you can see a white board in here. This is our canvas and this is also called an artboard. This artboard where we do all of our works. Okay, you can also uh, draw anything or do any work in this black space, but we recommend to work in this artboard. You can fix, fix the artboard size, anything you want. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. Just you have to do is go to this artboard tool. This artboard tool will make you to uh, make you the change you want to make. Suppose I make it smaller and make it or smaller, okay, like this, or you can adjust it bigger. Okay, that's it. One thing, uh, you can see a zoom tool here where you can use for zooming or zooming out, okay? So how to use that? You just all have to do is click on the zoom tool. Then you, you can see a magnifying glass with a plus sign. This plus sign will allow you to zoom in, okay? So what you have to do is just click on mouse left click and it will zoom in um, left left clicking the mouse see it, it is zooming in right it's zooming in right okay how to zoom out then to zoom out you have to press a keyboard shortcut that is called alter you know alt this is the alter key and you have to press it while zooming out okay Suppose this was the zooming tool, then I have to or press the alter key, then the plus sign will be negative sign. So then you press mouse left click, then it will be automatically zooming out. If you release the alter key, the plus sign will be back and you can simply zoom in again. Simple. Okay. So moving to the next, suppose I'm making an object and you can move it from here to here, as you can see. And if we click on it, the here's some point that I, that I can understand that it is selected. When it is not selected, there is no point here, as you can see. If I click on it, there are some points. Look at this. There are some points, okay? That means it is selected. If it's, there is no point, that means there is no selection, okay? Okay. Uh, this is the rectangle tool and I make that by using, I will show you. Uh, this is an object 
that anything you make is called an object okay uh, anything you make suppose you draw a line and anything or anything you draw in here that will that will be called an object okay so suppose i'm making a rectangle go to rectangle tool then click on it and drag it uh, clicking the left click and just drag and release it will make a rectangle for you there are many options here if you go to the rectangle tool and see a small so small teeny arrow here and you have to just hold it click and hold to see more options here okay i'm i'm showing another time just click on it and hold then you will see some other tools here there are some ellipse tool polygonal tool star tool line tool okay so i'm taking another one ellipse tool and this is an ellipse okay then again i'm holding the option here and we can find polygonal tool and polygonal tool this is the polygon okay next it is a star tool so i'm taking a star tool and making a star that's it this is all of us our object this all are called object uh, there is no color i think so we have to color them to do so you have to do is just select them there is nothing is selected now so you have to do a selection just click on it or drag to select them and you can find to color them is to go here look at my mouse cursor here is the arrow key click on it and you will find a many colors from here okay so i'm selecting this color the color is changed and i'm giving the giving a color in this rectangle here and here i'm going to use this color and say i will this color okay as you can see i colored the objects okay suppose there is another thing oh one second i forgot to tell that this color section it is called the fill color please note down uh, this called the fill color okay another thing is called stroke it is related with that uh, we used the color from here in the right side that you can see another box little box here the same category it is used for stroke okay let me show you just click a color and then increase the stroke here is a stroke color you can choose and the right side the stroke size okay if you increase the size as you can see my selection they have a border isn't that amazing i can give a border to my object with a stroke and increasing its size it's called the stroke color okay stroke color that's it so simple next i have the opacity in the action toolbar you can see i'm making an object another object and i'm giving a color suppose i make is blue and giving a stroke little bit that will be black and like this see there's a decent shape here appears and you can see that this is a star and i'm making a copy to understand better here's the before here's the after I didn't change anything yet. Okay, let me show you. Just hold it. What I what I intend to do is to show you the opacity panel, transparency panel. Sorry, this is called also opacity and transparency. If I drag to drag this away, there is a slider here. If you increase the size, you can see it changes the color. or it vanishes something like that so opacity means the appearance will be faded 
that's it if you adjust to adjust that you have to just select that okay if i if i select this one this opacity will be in, changed but i selected this one so you can anytime click uh, you can anytime increase or decrease anything like this okay so you have to do the selection and then use the tool okay so uh, to understand better as you can see this is the uh, thing i want to tell you this is the before and this is the after of opacity or transparency that's it it is used very uh, the opacity we use in many designing for designing purpose we use opacity in many things it is mainly used for something money yeah, you know some drawing purpose it is very handy now moving to another tool we have uh, suppose you are want to copy this whole thing okay you want to copy whole thing uh, you cannot copy from right click on the mouse you have to do is select the object and then press the alter key press alter key then just drag okay for copying you have to just uh, i'm writing for you press alter then drag okay that's so simple just what you have to do is just select and then press alter and then drag while pressing the alt key that's it this is the copy of the same object here the copied object will copy the color and the stroke also okay <clears throat> now i can create a pattern using the copy paste simply just illustrator is a very handy tool and it is also used for making some graphic graphical anything you want if i show you a simple example uh, let me show you uh, i'm just doing a pattern a simple object pattern using just copy and paste let me show you first of all select the object and make you make a color change if you want or like uh, okay uh, you can use a stroke if you like it's up to you okay now select the item and do a copy of that if i copy to with hand my mouse and hand it will not be perfect i think to make it perfect you can do is press alter and shift that it will allow you to move the object in the exact same position see there will be no uh, upper topish uh, like that you have to do is press alter and shift that it will allow you to make it perfectly aligned that's it okay i'm making two object by copying just copying and i'm making another two copies by pressing alter and shift again you can see the illustrator himself guiding me as you can see there are some pink color in the indicator here okay illustrator is very handy tool for graphic designer as you know so i'm making i made some pattern here as you can see and i'm making another copy to the bottom like this after copying this section you have to do just press control and d 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 isn't that simple just copying four things you can make a great change on your pattern it's so simple i'm making some alignment here okay now it is fit on the artboard and it looks good and there is a whole space i have to do is just copy this column and make one copy just just one copy okay just one copy and selecting being selected you have to 
press control and d control d control d from the keyboard that's it this is the my this is my symbol uh, sorry uh, this is my pattern okay you can use uh, this kind of pattern wherever you want suppose for as a sticker you want or something anything you can want or you can copy the whole thing copy the whole thing okay and now just press control d you can do so as you like again i am copying the whole thing copying the whole thing and then pressing alter i am making another copy and then just control d see like this i can multiply all of them by just control d i just pressed from keyboard is control plus keyboard section d that's it while well selected okay so that's it this is the pattern you want to make uh, if you want to uh, move it around you cannot move like this okay the next thing is you have to group them you have to group them to group you have to select all of them so so select to select all of them you have to press control a as many you know uh, control a is the all selection tool or you can um, do by yourself by dragging all over them from the selection tool here clicking on the selection tool you can adjust them by dragging all over them and they will be selected so uh, select all of them and then click right click on the mouse and you can just group i selected group okay and group by group you can move it all over you want whatever wherever you want see see but before grouping i move you can see before grouping there will be a mess you can see before grouping there is not connected uh, i'm zooming in you see there is no connected each other but after you group them you can after you group them on uh, mouse click uh, right click on the mouse and then group then you can just grab one one of them but the whole will be connected this is a very handy tool and grouping is another most important tool in the adobe illustrator please note down okay moving to the next topic we have uh, let me make an another pattern sorry object a uh, rectangle tool here i'm making uh one minute i can go to google and search for an image suppose this image um i'm taking this as an example and here i put it in here okay now what i want to show you that is you can rotate everywhere you want anything you can change you can make change in here suppose you want to flip it so what you have to do is just select it you can select by selection tool and then go to rotate tool and you can click you can see a small icon here as you uh, look at my look at my cursor and there there is a small icon here in cyan color this will allow you to rotate the whole thing okay or it is some difficult to understand so i what i do is for simplicity i use this thing uh after sil after selecting the object in the corner if you drag the mouse in the corner you can see there is a curvy the my my mouse cursor is turned into a curvy cursor and this allows us to rotate that see it's so easy or you can do is select this thing and then right click on it and then you can see there is a section is called transform transform and then you have to go to reflect okay there is a reflect and click on it 
and then you will have a new dialog box and this allows you to flip that horizontally vertically or you can adjust the angle from here okay you can see also a preview or preview if you check it the preview will be shown and if you remove it then the preview will be not shown that's it so i'll make a copy to understand uh, the here is the first image that i get and there is the result of of uh, rotate and reflect okay hope you understand next suppose you messed up something in your work suppose i'm um, using uh, you are working with the star tool suppose but unfortunately you messed up something like this or something like this okay and what we'll do you have to fix it to fix this thing you have to do is just go to edit section and do is control either you can press the command from keyboard is control z or undo calligraphic stroke just click it it will undo the previous work exact previous work will be removed okay again there are some other thing so i have to do is go to edit and apply undo okay just click on undo then the thing will be gone that's it or you can redo also uh, if you want to then you can redo also there's option here undo then you can change that again by shift plus control plus z this is the keyboard command so simple this is the undo and redo and one other thing is how to delete an object suppose you make an uh, double star but you want to remove one Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, yes, yes sir, you, you can, can continue. continue. Okay. Uh, suppose you are uh, want to make a make an object, but unfortunately you make an another. So how to remove it? To remove that, uh, you can use the delete button of your keyboard, or you can just simply select this and click. The backspace button of your keyboard, then that will be deleted. That's it. Okay, moving to the next topic, we have the text tool. Text tool is a common tool we used as a designer. Uh, there is a default text set Lorem Ipsum. It is a dummy text from Arab Illustrator. Uh, I can make the change. I'm writing my name here. Okay. Now I'll make a change in here. So I want to make it bigger. How can I do that? You can just select this thing, uh, this text, and um, sorry. Um, can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. You can continue. Okay. Uh, to make it bigger, you have to just select this text and make it larger by pressing the mouse and this section. As you can see, it is bigger. Just you have to do is just select the whole thing and then grab the mouse in here in the corner and the new icon will be appear. There is two types of new uh, mouse cursor after selecting this. Normal is this, and the second one is after selecting like this, and the new one is like this, curvature. Okay? You can rotate it, or you can flip it. Whatever you want. Okay, I'm just undoing this. Next, you want to make it uh, bold or you can change the font if you want. 
I'm changing the color right now. To color change, you have to just select this thing and go to fill color and make a change in the color. The color is changing. You can apply a stroke in here. If I go to stroke and make a color and then you can adjust the stroke here. As you can see, this is a customizable text. If you like, you can make the font change in here. So you have to do is just go to character section and here a pop-up will appear and then you have to just down the arrow and you can find a many of them font new fonts here many of them and you can use what you want let's see look i made a change in my font or you can download a random or you want a new font for your pc so uh, go to the font and you can download a free font. There are many fonts here. You can see there are lots of fun fonts. There are foreign fonts, Chinese, Japanese, Arabic. Uh, there are many styles. See, modern, sci-fi, uh, lots of things. Amazing. There are some brushes, script, calligraphy, bitmap, cartoon, comics. There are many things. They are all are free. Just so simply you have to do is just go to download and click on it and just there will be a zip file and the location and you will be saved okay the download is uh, there it is downloading and i i downloaded the file uh, i'm giving the link in the comment section just hold i'm giving the link in the comment section here another free font is the google font From here, you can also download some special fonts, and there are some beautiful fonts as well. I'm giving the link again in the description. Please check out and note them. That's it. My download is completed. So I'm going to the desktop. Uh, here you can see my zip file here, and you have to do just unzip it or extract here, and you will find some files here so there will be files many files but you have to understand what file you are installing there will be a ttf you can see that i'll make it bigger uh, you can see there is a in this file in this file you can see a extension called ttf i'll go to properties panel and show you the, here you can see a TTF file. This will be installed. So double click on it and go to install. Just simply click on install, it will be installed. So easy. And the name of the font is Lemon Friday. So uh, automatically it will appear in the Adobe Illustrator. To make the change, you have to just select the text and type, uh, sorry, character. And character you will. Uh, the name of the font was lemon friday okay i'm just clicking on it see the font changed that's it so simple so you can adjust the font you can change the font you can download it from google font or the font you can make color change anything you want okay now there is another important section is um topic is type on a path tool it is a handy tool that will allow you to write something in a path as you can see i'm making some lines random lines to understand you um, there is a fill color and now it is a straight line you can see what i'll do is go to type tool and press and hold to see the options and click on the type on a path tool and then you can just click on the path okay just click on it and you can see you can write on it
the the text is following the line isn't that amazing you can see the text is following the line it is the part tool okay you can write this on a polygon tool also so you take a polygon and then um filling this none and then uh wait a second uh, here you can see a line with a polygon i'm now right um i want to write some text in here so go to type on a path tool and click on the path just click on the path and you will get a uh, it is a type on a path tool it is sometime handy tool because uh, we cannot use everything you you want but if you know the characteristic of this tool you can apply it anywhere see there is a effect like uh, the text is falling down like this i'm showing another time uh, i'm taking a circle and making a stroke to understand here is a circle and i i want to type on it on this path so i have to do is type on a path select this and just click on the path and there you have it the text is on the path now but i have to align this to align mm, you can rotate that like this okay and you can make something change in here uh, if, if this is the over the path if you want to make it some change you can just flip this is the under the line now you can descend you can change center or you can change in the best line or you can just flip it okay anything you can change in here just double click on the exact tool and you will make a change that's it moving next okay there is a tool i previously showed you a rectangle tool electro polygon to start tool but there is no triangle tool in this whole adobe illustrator but you want to use a triangle tool what you will do you have to do is just go to star tool or polygonal tool both of them can be used so first of all i'm uh, showing the polygon tool and by using polygonal tool you will make a triangle so double click on it sorry 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 double click uh, you have to click on the canvas just canvas you can just drag to make a polygon but you have to do just a click this time okay you can see there is a side is six but if you change in three and click okay you can see a triangle okay again with the start tool you can also make a triangle perfectly just click and then make this point into 3 and click okay here is a triangle from start tool and polygonal tool you can adjust the size or make a color change or give a stroke if you like as your wish okay hope you understand that's it moving to the next topic it is so important as a designer um suppose i make some random shapes like this like this like this like this like this what i have to do is make them together align in center perfectly to do so you have to do just select all of them by pressing control a or just uh, make this take the selection tool and drag over them and it will allow you to select all of them and just align here you can see 
there is a align tool in the properties panel or you can find this alignment tool in the window and go to second one is the align okay here click the box and it will bring you the alignment tool here so here in the alignment tool i'm selecting align to artboard i what i want is all the selected tools uh, all the selected objects are in the center i want to make that change to so select the align to artboard and just click click on the horizontal align center just click on it and it will automatically bring you the objects in the center perfectly you can make them in the right position by clicking horizontal align left or you can make change in by clicking the horizontal right or you can align in top align in bottom align in the middle okay it's up to you and what you need that's it this is the alignment segment hope you understand moving to the next topic we have a shape builder tool shape builder tool is another important tool in the adobe illustrator to show this i have to draw something and apply on the shape builder tool i'm showing you just um i'll make a flower i think it would be better uh, to understand uh, to make a flower i'm taking just circle and making a copy of that another copy another copy and another copy i made five circles by copying okay so what i have to do is just align them as a flower i'm aligning all of them as you can see they're aligned and i'm taking another piece of uh, circle in the middle okay here you can see a flower with some okay uh, i want to make the stroke black and then increase the stroke by clicking increasing on it and then it is a flower i have already done and then i want to take a rectangle tool and make the line like this and color it like this and place it underneath the flower here look at that the stick is above the flower is it is it right no so you have to take that and place it in the back so to do so you have to do is click the right button of the mouse and here you can see an arrange please note down right click and you will find some options to get the arrange and here you can see send to back if i click on that send to back the stick will be in the back like this as you can see the stick is gone in the back now it is perfect okay i'm showing the shape builder tool right now look carefully i'm making a object a circle uh, i make the fill color none there is no fill color now uh, just a stroke uh, i make a change uh, i will copy this another circle there are two circles now but i need this section i show you i need this section this lit this section is like a leaf okay this section is like a leaf i am making a leaf by using this thing okay uh, let me show you just select them and grab the shape builder tool from here and there will be a change you can see there are three parts this part 
this part, this part. One, two, three. Okay. So what I have to do is remove this part and this part. It this two object will be deleted by Shape Builder tool. And what I'll do is take that, take this part. So you have to delete them. To delete them, you have to press Alter, Alter, and just click on it. The side of it is vanished. And this part, samely, I have to just click and pressing Alter, just click on it, and this will be disappeared. So now we have a simple leaf. I'm making a color like this. This is a leaf. Okay. So this leaf I can use here to enhance the beauty and there is another leaf uh, probably I should make it smaller uh, here and make a color change in the flowers make it red okay so this is my flower how I make the leaves make the leaves by using shape builder tool so you can easily find any shape by you can make any change or make any object and make any shape you want by using shape builder tool it is so important and it is so handy tool okay now um the last thing is i'm gonna give you a homework small homework you can try at your home that is you have to draw a flag. Am I okay? Mm, I'm drawing a flag as a Bangladeshi. I'm making my country's flag. You can make any kind of flag you want. I'm just giving a homework for you to try at home. Okay, just give it a try. You will understand. Here's a pole for the flag. Um, changing the color. Here you can see the pole is above the flag. You can bring it back. Okay, send to back, and the pole is behind the flag. That's it. And now just group it to avoid the mess. Okay, just group that. Just select them and click on group. It will be grouped easily. So that's all. Thank you for joining me and take care. If you have any question from everyone, from anyone, oh, please you can you can, you can ask, ask in comment box ask now anything any question if you want you can tell us now um, so. okay. assalamu alaikum uh, i am muhammad sadat sinshawn so i want to uh, know about the process different type of saving process how can i save image in a in an effective way okay you want to save the save your work Yes, I want to save and I want to use in in the web and also in my personal uh, print preview. So, uh, what okay, is okay. the effective okay. way? I'm showing I'm showing the saving process. Uh, let me let me know that it it is exact. Okay. So uh, suppose you do this work and you want to save that. According to do so, you have to go to file. Okay. Go to file and next you have to go to export. And here export, you can see three different options here. So click on export as, it will be better. Then you can click here, you can see a new saving dialog box. And here you can save as type. You can Autodesk or BMP, Bitmap, CSS, Flash, JPEG, PNG, Photoshop, SVG file, whatever you want. I'm selecting the PNG file and give it a name flag and then use artboard okay this will help you to capture the whole thing in the artboard not the outside okay so click on that 
and select export and new dialog box will be appear and here you can select the resolution if you want higher resolution you can change it from other by clicking other default you, you it will be selected high default by default but if you want higher resolution go to others and see, uh, make it higher 60 or you can 1000 ppi and anti aliasing it will be selected by art optimized it will be better and then you can choose the background if you make it transparent if you want to transparent background then you can select the transparent or you can you want to make it white background then you, you can make it white or you can use the black background as a black that's it and then you, you have to hit ok and then the file is set in your png let me show you uh, Okay, it's saving. It's still saving. I click on the larger size, so it will take time. Okay. Um, here. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm. I'll make another save on it quickly. Flag, PNG, use artboard, then export, and then I make it lower. It will take long time. So avoid that, then press OK. I hope it is saved. Uh, here you can see the result. See, in the transparent background, my display is in the black theme, so the background is black. If you and mainly it is transparent. I saved it in transparent. Okay, that's it. Mr. Sajjad, are you happy? Uh, yeah, but I also want to, I also uh, want to add yes, it yes. with this, uh, which is uh, if you please recommend some ideas that uh, which purpose is good for what. I mean, uh, when we are posting on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, so which purpose okay. should we go? There is also one available uh, option is uh, available on the export. If I if if I talk about this, the, there will be there there. This will take a long time, you know. So in this short time, I cannot explain to you. Uh, you can ask for you can we can have another seminar for about this about the social media and uh, I, what you said okay and what you said that will take a long time so in this short time we cannot explain to you okay is uh, i mean is the photo which you have saved so is this uh, applicable for i yes 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 i can show you that uh, the photo i said is in png and the file size i can show you that this is 1.79 mb okay uh, here I go to properties, and here you can see this is 179 MB. Okay, and it will, you can use it anywhere. According to your artboard, you can use it anywhere, I think. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you too. Anyone can ask any question? Well, no, you can continue. Uh, in the comment section, Chris Miruthi said, hello, I have been using Illustrator recently. My problem is I get only one shape rectangle. How do I add more shapes? Okay. You can reinstall your Adobe if you like, but if you not want to install again, you can just go to window and Miruthi, are you listening? Sorry, Chris Miruthi. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, um, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, 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 okay. 
just go to window and go to toolbar and then click on advance okay then you can find many options here and you can also go to this edit toolbar here you can see edit toolbar and you can find many options here okay uh, i'm showing again uh, when you go to window and toolbar uh, i'm selecting the basic to show you and then go to edit toolbar and you can see some other tools here appears let's see suppose you have uh, only rectangle tool uh, ellipse tool polygon tool star tool is not there it will be i think it is in the in here okay here you can find it in here chris are you happy uh, okay thank you thank you. yeah thank you okay 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 any question uh, is there any question Okay. If I get chance, can I ask another question? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, so I want to know about uh, sometimes we have to work both Photoshop and Illustrator. So um, an Illustrator file, if if I want to use in Photoshop, what is the right way? Or just uh, can I just uh, save it in Illustrator file and just can open in Photoshop? This is the proper okay, way. Okay, let or... me let me let me show you something. A uh, Photoshop file is saved as .dot psd. Uh, .dot psd is the Photoshop file extension. Okay, and the yep. Illustrator file is AI. Okay, so this is two different type of extension. You know, so you cannot open either Illustrator in Photoshop and neither photoshop in illustrator but you can use uh, photoshop you, you have make an uh, artwork in adobe illustrator and you can uh, at, you can save it as a png or jpg whatever you like and that jpg or png you can use in psd okay uh, i'm showing you an example uh, give me a little time to open the my photoshop uh, i have uh, done it in previous but uh, it shows me quality a lose of quality actually yes, i yes, lost yes. my quality yes. so we recommend not to do that okay so psd uh, if you work in illustrator illustrator is a high quality graphical software but psd in photoshop is not uh, like that so we recommend not to do that you can use uh, high quality images or png Okay. That's it. Okay, to export the high quality Illustrator AI, and we can use that in Photoshop. Yes, yes. You can. You have to just export that and place it on a PSD. It will make the. You can change. Make it change. No okay. problem. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay. Thank you. Or anyone uh, have any question? Feel free to ask us. Okay. Thank you, Ada, for your valuable presentation. 
we hope your presentation will be helpful in the future so now i would like to ask Koshik Sharkar sir, advisor Articuli BUBT SB, about how today's event was. Please give us some of your valuable opinion about today's event, sir. Are you here, Koshik Sharkar sir? Koushik is most probably not present right now, so I would like to say something on his behalf. Uh, this is a very wonderful workshop I have seen on digital software tools, so I would like to say the concluding speech. I would like to thank all the members and participants in the workshop for attending and uh, take time to question the workshop instructor. MD Al Araf, thank you for your wonderful instruction on Adobe Illustrator. Uh, the Illustrator is used in so many spaces. When you look at your book cover, when you look at your wall calendar, you uh, just wonder how did the uh, designer design the wall calendar template or the book cover? Obviously, he used Adobe Illustrator or, or Photoshop, most probably Adobe Illustrator. Uh, though I don't know Adobe Illustrator that much, I like to do work in Photoshop, but I think in vector graphics designing on vector manipulation, Adobe Illustrator is top-notch software. Anything is below that. Photoshop cannot compete with vector graphics, obviously. Rasterizing images, that's Photoshop works, but in vector graphics, when you want infinite zoom capability, obviously Illustrator is best. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for participating again. That's it from my part. Thank you. Thank you, Hasibir. Thank you, Hasibir Alam, sir. Now I would like to ask IEEE BUBT SB Chairperson Mohammed Tabil Ahmed to say something about how was today's event. Thank you, Najmi. I would like to express our profound gratitude to our advisor, Professor Dr. Anwar Hussain Sir, uh, for their presence in this workshop. And uh, I would also like to thank our Bureau of Counselor, Hasibul Islam Sir, for his moral support and guidance. And also, instructor, our young star, Araf, Tanjit, and Moinul, for making an excellent presentation and making this workshop very meaningful and interesting. When we are planning for this workshop, I invited three branches from Pakistan, India, and Kenya, and they responded me about it positively. And now it is our another great collaboration with JIT from India, Comsars Islamabad from Pakistan, and Young Profession from Kenya. I am very happy to express thank to our all core members who have made this workshop a grand success. And thank you to all the audience for attending today's workshop. Our members shared a feedback from in the chat box. If your feedback is positive, we will try to arrange another next part of this workshop in the later, like as pen tool, use of effect, brush tool guide, react selection tools, advanced tools. And we also planning a designing competition through Illustrator. Keep eyes on our Facebook page for further update. Uh, it is time for Asher prayer, so I will not take much time for my speech. And finally, I say that COVID situation is increasing very risky divide in Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. So request to all you. Stay safe. Thank you, everyone, and advance it more. Thank you, Mohammed Tabir Ahmed. Then I would like to ask IEEE Concerts Islamabad SB Secretary General Laiva Irfan to share your opinion about how today's event. Uh, hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum. You can hear me, right? Yes. Right. Uh, so uh, I would just like to say, as someone who's not normally very interested in graphic designing, I found today's workshop to be really engaging and uh, informative. And if you guys continue with the series, we would love to be involved. Of course, it, it was uh, great work on behalf of the speaker and all the organizer, organizers. And everyone, thank you for your time and uh, coming and attending. And uh, 
I hope you guys enjoy, uh, join us for the future sessions as well because they'll prove to be just as informative. So as Tabil said, it's almost Asr time. So thank you for coming again and uh, hope you join us next time. Thank you, Laiba Yufan. At this moment, I would like to ask IEEE Young Professionals, Kenya's chairperson, Taldu Marta, to talk about how today's event. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Good. Uh, so, yes, my name is Chaltu. Hi. Hello, sorry. Yeah, so I'm Chalto Marta from IEEE YP Kenya. I'm the publicity lead, sorry, not the vice chair, but I'm the vice chair for WIE Kenya. Uh, this has been a really wonderful session. When Tabil reached out, we've been on another event with Tabil and the IEEE Comsat also. I'm really happy and I have taken, I was actually at work. But I've taken time off to get on this and I even shared with some of our members uh, also. Sorry, I'd forgotten about it a little bit, but at least I see Chris has been able to join. He's from Kenya section, uh, Moy University. He's the chair for Moy University here in Kenya section. So we look forward to more of these sessions and we'll have more members from our team. And Tabil, you can also share the a recording after this. I'm very happy the session was recorded. We can be able to forward the same and we'll be joining for future ones. So thank you so much. This has been a very informative session. Thank you, Chabdu Marta. At last, I would like to ask IEEE Jansas Institute of Technology Student Branches Coordinator Sruti PG to talk about how today's event. Um, yes, hi guys. I'm Shruti PG from JIT India section. So, first of all, I would like to thank all the IEEE student branches and especially Bangladesh University of Business and Technology for being so kind and supportive in joining us as a part of this webinar. Uh, it is very fascinating to see all these amazing people from around the world right from my dorm room. It is very nice. And now coming to the webinar, Mr. al -Araf, you did an amazing job. It was such a wonderful webinar and I'm sure many beginners and curious mind would have found it informative and interesting. You know, even for me personally as a beginner, the way you explained things made it much easier for me to understand everything better. So thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Sruti PG. Thank you once again to all the honorable guests, faculty members and students for your cooperation. That is must for all time. It's been a pleasure being with all of you today and again thank you all for your patience. I wish you all a very good afternoon. Stay safe and stay well. And this is the ending moment of today's event. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.